Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Dee. I'm a thrifter and a reseller. I sell right here on YouTube every Saturday afternoon at three o'clock Eastern, and I also sell on eBay and Mercari. Welcome to anyone who's new and welcome back to all of my current friends. Today, I have a double Salvation Army thrift haul for you. It is double because I didn't have time to film my Salvation Army haul from the week before. <laughs> you know, there's just not enough hours in the day. So, let's get into it. I'm going to do last week's first and then we will do um, this week's, which isn't a whole lot. So, okay. I did get this beautiful, and I, and I can't believe it's in perfect condition. Would you look at this beautiful piece of clear glass? Every one of these little saw, saw teeth, sawtooth, are in perfect condition. Oh, I lied. There's one, <laughs> one tiny flea bite right there. I spoke too soon. I'm not quite sure what this was used for, but I think it would make a beautiful tea light holder. Can you imagine? Oh, I, you know what? I am going to light a tea light, put it in here, and I will insert a picture for you guys. So you can see how beautiful this would be. Now, it could be <clears throat> for some kind of condiment. Uh, you know, perhaps mayonnaise or something like that. I really don't know. I do know it is a stunning piece. That is why I picked it up. Then I got this cute little bud vase. It's made in Taiwan. And it reminds me of Daisy and Button, but it is not but it's very cute and it would look really pretty in a window, I think. So I picked up that. I got a set of six. Well, actually it's a set of five and then an oddball. <laughs> um, I don't usually buy Coca-Cola glasses, but I really liked these and I thought they were well made. Now, this one is the oddball. These are made by the Libby Glass Company. So this, I love the shape of this one, um, but there was only one of this type. And then I got five of these with the handle, which is the usual uh, shape of a Coca-Cola glass. But these have handles, and I thought these were really, really nice glasses. Um, they're quite thick, as you can see. And yes, they are made by Libby. You could see the L right there on the bottom. So we'll see how those do, you know. What the heck? I thought I would take a shot. Um, I bought this beautiful wallet. It's in excellent condition. It looks brand new. I don't believe it was ever used. And the zippers work perfectly fine. So I got that. I love the black with the florals. I think it's really pretty. So there is that. And I found Two more vintage purses. I know I have a problem. Hi, my name's Dee and I'm addicted to vintage purses. Oh, dear. Now this one does not have a chain, so it is a clutch purse. good. It's so good. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, 
I just couldn't. I just could not pass them up. Now, look at this piece. It has its original tag. And it's in perfect condition. Capa di Monte, Italy. I'm assuming this is an ashtray because it does have little divots here for your cigarettes. However, I would not use it for an ashtray. I would use it, I would put it on my coffee table and maybe put the remote in there or something. Use it as a nut dish, uh, candies. I definitely would not use it as an ashtray. There is your back stamp. Perfect condition. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, I also picked up some, um, Temptations. I got these two platters. Love the colors on this. They do have crazing, but no chips, cracks, or flea bites. So I got the two platters. And I got four storage containers. And they're all in perfect condition. Now, the lids do have a little bit of wear because they are plastic. But, you know, what that's to be expected. Um, but let's put it on the correct way. But these themselves are in perfect condition. And there's four of them to go with the platters. And I will pick up Temptations anytime I can get it for a good price. Then I found these two beautiful vintage platters. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? No chips, cracks, or flea bites. It isn't marked. I would have to look it up to see, you know, if I could find a maker on it. If I do find a maker, I'll insert it here for you. And then I got this one. This one is so pretty. Uh, this one is uh, Taylor Smith Taylor. And look at, look at how pretty. There is a little bit of uh, paint loss on the silver, but that's it. Not a chip, crack, or a flea bite on it. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Love the detailing on the handle there. And here is the back stamp. So I picked up those. Okay, I got this. This is awesome. Look at this stained glass Santa. He's got a chain here to hang him by. Isn't he fabulous? Ah, I love him. He is amazing. I'm trying to find room for stuff, guys. All right, let me set him down here for a minute. All right, let me do these pictures, and then I can move them and put some of this stuff over here. I know, you guys don't care. Look at this beautiful pair of pictures. They're called Colorful Garden. My thumb is given out. All right, here's the first one. Now, the frames do have a little... Uh, um, this one's got, like, scratches on there, like 
somebody dug it with something. But hopefully you're not going to notice that when it's hung up on the wall. So there's that one. And then here is its partner. And this one is in great condition. I didn't see any issues on the frame or anything. Uh, I just think these are beautiful. They are 24 by 12 inches. And I just think these are so pretty. What a pop of color. They're gorgeous. So I couldn't pass those up. There was no way. All right. Next, I got uh, three sets. Um, a very uh, a long rectangular tablecloth with matching napkins and then two square tablecloths with four matching napkins. And this is the pattern. I'm just going to show you one set because they're all exactly the same, okay, except for two are square and one is rectangular. This is the beautiful, look how beautiful those colors are. Not your usual colors for fall, but they are becoming much more popular than your normal brown, orange, and green. You know what I mean? And so, and it has the matching tablecloth. So there is, uh, I believe it's one, two, three, four. There's four that go to the square one. And then here is one, two, three, the other four that go to the square tablecloth. Then, now the, the rectangular tablecloth, see this is the square tablecloth. Um, that they all have just four napkins, four napkins. I just wanted to make sure. So, yes. So I got those three tablecloth and napkin sets. And then I got this amazing runner. Look at this runner, guys. I love it. Of course, it's folded in half because I wanted you to see the, the chicken and the rooster. But it's embroidered. And I love the edging. No stains on it at all. Fell in love with that. Really, really like that. All right, let me put these back over here. Okay. Then I got this guy. How cute is he? Look. You can take a string of fairy lights and put them right through this hole back here to light him up. How stinking cute is he? Oh my word. He is awesome. <laughs> well, you know how I am with snowmen. I just can't help myself. And then I got these trays. They're like chrome. They're not silver or anything. So I got this one. Um, and I got these to do a thrift flip on. So this is a nice uh, rectangular one. It's got a pretty pattern on there. And then this is a set of three. They're all exactly the same. We've got a medium and a small. And then I have the large one. 
Now these I'll probably, I, I will probably sell as is. And then if nobody wants them, then I will uh, do a thrift flip on them. So. That is everything that I got at Salvation Army for $84.69. Not too bad. Not too bad, I don't think. Um, so, all right. So now I'm just going to slide this stuff over here so I have room to show you these other items that I got just this past Tuesday. This video will probably come out um, Sunday. Sunday. It is Saturday when I'm filming this, um, right after my live sale that I just finished. So I figured while I had everything set up, let's get her done. Okay, now, uh, this trip to Salvation Army, I spent uh, $29.96. And I'm going to show you these things back here. $29.96. How is that possible? Okay, I think I figured out what I did. I just mixed up the receipts. Um, so for the stuff I just showed you, I spent... $29.96 for the stuff I just showed you. Now, that's really good. Now, for this stuff I'm going to show you, which is less stuff, but I got good stuff, I spent, anyways, $84.69. Okay, so I got this tin now, in my uh, Growing Up in Niagara Falls video, um, I did show you this bakery. Um, it is DiCamillo Bakery. Uh, it's a beautiful tin. It really is beautiful. Um, but I actually bought it because I was going to do something with it, a flip. So um, that was my intention um, when I bought this. Even though it's really pretty, I hate to paint over that because it... It's just beautiful. Dang, now I don't know if I want to paint over it. All right, now, I don't know how I missed this, but I got this beautiful cup and saucer. How pretty is this? I do not know how I missed that chip. I am blinder than blind, I swear. It is gorgeous. Cobalt blue, gold, like a rust color. I mean, yellow. It's just beautiful. I mean, I can touch that up, but of course, it would only be for decor purposes. You wouldn't want to drink out of that, even though... It's not on the side where you drink out of, but it is what it is. I also found a Pink Depression Tumble Up. Now, I do have a Pink Depression glass that I can pair with this. Hopefully, it fits over here. Um, so, that's the reason I bought it, even though it was missing the glass. So keep your fingers crossed that it fits. I got these two white pitchers and I am going to snazz these up in a, in a thrift flip uh, video. So be sure if you're not subscribed to my other channel, which is the thrill of the flip, the comment, the comments, the link is in the comments. So please be sure to click the link and go on over and subscribe to that channel to see what I do with these items that I flip. 
I bought this adorable snowman. Oh, isn't he the cutest? He's got his little pipe cleaner scarf on. He is adorable. I, I just have a hard time passing up snowmen, just like vintage purses. <laughs> what can I say? This I love. But I bought it to do a Halloween thrift flip in. So this comes off. And um, I will probably see if I could cut this bird off. I'm not sure. But this is awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. I got these. Clown alert for those that don't like clowns. There's three of them. And I just thought they were cute and I do have clown fans. So I picked them up. I thought they were cute. Uh, then I got, this is a beautiful plate. Now it is, it does, it is damaged. I can't speak today. Um, it does have um, a crack, but it's so pretty. I hated to leave it behind to go to the landfill. Um, and it is Mon Bijou, Bavaria. To me, that sounds French. Mon Bijou. But anyways, this is the plate. I love the, the edging on it. So you can see the crack, but hopefully I could use maybe some peroxide or something to bleach that. So I picked it up anyway. Then I got this beautiful footed bowl that is very, very pretty. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on it. This would make a gorgeous fruit bowl. So I got that. I'm going to save the best piece for last. And I actually wrote down the company that made that. I think I can remember what it is. All right. I got this for mom. It's one of those suction cup handles. Um, I thought this would help her when she's in the tub or in the shower, wherever she wants to put it. So I picked that up for mom. And then... Hold on, guys. Pardon my back for a second. Um, I picked up this picture um, with the intention of doing um, a thrift flip on it because, I don't know, I just, I mean, it's cute. It's definitely cute. Um, but I had something else in mind for it. So that's why I picked it up. Then I got this. Look at this carnival glass in the marigold color. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hopefully that thumbnail turned out. <laughs> oh, MG, look at that. Gorgeous. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. That is a beauty. That's a beauty. And I hit the jackpot on Vera Bradley purses that were not priced sky high. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Let me show you these. These are all in like new condition. 
One of them is brand new with the tags. We got this one. I love this one. Look at the colors on that. It's a black background and it has like black um, leather detailing on the straps. I've sold this one before. This beautiful green, navy, light blue, white. I mean, like new condition, y'all. And then this is the one, for, perfect for fall, brand new with the tags. I hit the jackpot. Yes, I did. Okay. The last item that I got. This is Jefferson Glass in the blue opalescent circa, I believe it was 1896. It said, holy moly, perfect condition. What do you think of that thrift haul? What do you think, guys? 80, whatever it was, $89 and some change. But did I get some awesome stuff or what? Wow, I was ecstatic for that trip. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and becoming part of my crazy family here. We have a lot of fun here on my channel uh, at my live sales on Saturday afternoons and also, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with your friends that you, that you know love uh, thrift, thrift haul videos. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment. And I will catch you all in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.